You need amazing projects in your resume, but where do you even start? And I know what it feels like when you have no idea what to build. And projects can literally make or break your interviews. I've seen a lot of people get amazing opportunities because they were working on something very interesting and useful. So I made a list of five projects that will supercharge your resume and take it to the next level. And I wish I had these projects in my resume when I was just starting out looking for a job. And I don't want to go over projects that take months to build because honestly, nobody has that kind of time. You can start any of these projects in a weekend and then slowly keep on adding features to it and most of them can be done in any programming language but if i had to start over again i would start with javascript so let's start with a very simple project artificial intelligence with all the hype around artificial intelligence over the last year right now is the perfect time to build something using artificial intelligence that will set you apart and i'm not talking about learning machine learning or ai from scratch and building really robust models no that part is already done by some really smart people and you can actually use the models that they have created to various services like replicate or hugging face and you can use these models and build something out of it so check this website out that allows you to talk to your pdfs basically ask a question and the model will give you where the answer is in the pdf or check this website out which allows you to restore your old photos these models are already hosted on these services and they expose an api and you can build a service around this api handling authentication payments databases users and you have a very simple ai software software as a service and if you actually try to do this you can actually check out the source code for restoredphotos.io it's a very simple next.js application with a couple of pages and a couple of api endpoints putting it all together and these are not the only things that you can do with these ai models you can generate artwork logos you can convert audio lectures into notes with openai's whisper and chat gpt you can create music you can use other models like llama or you can just use chat gpt directly and you can build something like this over a weekend and it's a pretty cool project to talk about. So whenever you are going to build something, just keep in mind these three points. First one is that it should solve a problem that you or someone that you know is currently facing. Secondly, it should challenge you to look for answers or look for something out of your comfort zone. And lastly, make sure that it is complete. A lot of people start building projects, but not a lot of people complete so them. So what I like to do is I always try to build a very basic version and put it out there for others to see. Once the first version is out, you can slowly start adding features to it. Moving to the second project idea, bots. And I'm not talking about these robots, but if you can build them, teach me how. I'm talking about chatbot. Like check out this Twitter bot. That allows anyone to ping it and it converts the entire Twitter thread into a blog post that can be shared. How cool is that? Now you might be wondering how these bots actually work. Well, most apps like Twitter, Discord, Telegram, WhatsApp have a documentation page that allows you to create these bots, which is directly connected to their APIs and it allows you to execute a function on some specific command. So you can create simple bots like that. But if you want to go into the deep end, I would suggest you create a backend service and allow users to interact with that service through bots. For example, a stock ticker bot that allows me to see the current price of a stock or gives me a notification when the price goes above a certain threshold or goes below a certain threshold or an Amazon price tracker bot I can share a link with and that bot will keep a track of the price and whenever the price falls below a certain limit it gives me a notification to buy that product and you can add a database and keep user data and you can have a complete app through bots basically what you can do is create an AI service and let users interact with that service through bots something similar to how mid journey works right now on discord or you can start with something really simple like building a board that tracks your lead code progress and gives you a question that you haven't solved before every day and tracks if you were able to solve it or not moving to third project idea command line utility have you ever used brew on a mac or npm and have you ever wondered how they actually work well these are simple applications that run through the command line and you can do pretty much anything with them you can interact with the file system interact with the os you can make api calls basically anything that you want to do so to begin with you can make a simple script that goes through your downloads folder and arranges all the files in specific folders so the images go into the images folder the videos go into the videos folder so, or if you want to make something challenging try making this so have you tried debugging something and then you see an error log in the terminal and you want to share that with a friend or a colleague but then you have to copy the entire thing and then go to a specific website like github gist paste the entire thing there and then post it and then copy the link of that and give it to your friend it's a long process so what you can do is make a utility that you can call with your debug command and what it does is it will print the output to the terminal and it will also make a shareable url that you can give to a friend and if you are able to do this properly move ahead and make 
a utility that allows you to stream your terminal, something like sshx.io. Basically, you have your terminal and you want to run a few commands and share the output of that with a friend. So you start streaming your terminal, do whatever you want to do, and your friend can actually see it in real time. This entire thing is a very difficult problem to solve because you'll have to learn a lot about networking and how to stream your data. But you'll end up learning a lot of new things and it is always a good project to share. Why don't you make a Chrome extension? So Google Chrome extension allows you to see a lot of website data, tab data, and the website you're currently on. And it allows you to change the data on that website. Basically everything that you can do on the front end. And you can do some really cool things with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Like counting the time required to read the entire page or adding extra buttons. There's a lot you can do in Chrome extensions. You can connect it to an API and handle authentication. And you can make API calls. So you can connect it to a backend and make a really simple Chrome extension that allows you to save pages along with the context you are saving them in and let's say sync them with your Notion workspace. And if it works out well, you can try publishing it into the Chrome Web Store, which is quite interesting if you ask me. And lastly, you can try building a software as a service, solving any problem. So check this website out. This allows you to create forms in a Notion like editor and collect data from the users, which is a really simple use case if you think about it. Or check this app out, which allows you to aggregate different testimonials over different social media platforms and create a wall of all those testimonials and add that to your website. So not a very difficult problem to solve, but definitely something you need. But check out this app that allows you to create websites with your Notion data. You can build something along these lines and add your own flavor to it. Obviously, the problems they are solving seem simple, but that doesn't mean the engineering behind it is simple. You'll run into a lot of different challenges and problems and errors while making them. And if it works out, you can start charging users to use your service and make it a software as a service. But even when you run into a lot of challenges, you'll end up learning a lot of new things and it will make you a much better developer. And you can always talk about your learnings in an interview or your Twitter or LinkedIn and people will find it insightful and post whatever code that you have written onto GitHub so that people can actually see what you've coded. This will set you apart in interviews by a long margin because this is what recruiters are actually looking for. They want people who have solved real world problems. But just making projects won't set you apart from 99% of the other engineers. There's a few more things that you need to do. So check out this video right here where I talk about all the different things that you need to do to set yourself apart from 99% of the other developers out there.